What's up everybody? Good morning. So I am in Ukraine. I just arrived yesterday and I'm currently in the city of Lviv. I am going to Kyiv as well, but that's going to be later on my trip. I wanted to check it out because now seemed like the best time. We're not entirely sure what's going to happen with the war in the next couple of months, but right now everything seems relatively peaceful. This is the first time where I'm in a place where I don't recognize anything about the language and the people don't look like me. When I was in Asia, for example, in Thailand, yes, the alphabet was different, but I looked Thai, so I still kind of felt like I blended in and I kind of belonged, if that makes sense. Poland uses like the Latin alphabet, so it still seems quite familiar. It's the first time I've been in a place with Russian letters. I have no idea what anything says and I really feel like out of place for the first time in my life. I don't feel like people are really staring at me like they haven't seen an Asian person before. So that must mean that there are Asians here. I just haven't found them yet, so I have to keep on looking. And apparently there is a lot of Asian food here in Ukraine as well. I also heard that Ukraine has a lot of Arab people. And just generally in this whole entire part of the world, there are kebab stores everywhere. So I'm walking around Old Town right now. My Ukrainian friend who's from here told me that the Old Town is very similar to the Old Town in Krakow. And I actually would disagree. When I first arrived here, that's kind of how I felt. It had very similar vibes because obviously they're both former Soviet Union. It's a completely different vibe from Poland. Call me crazy. First night that I spent here, I spent outside of the city center, kind of in the neighborhood area. And I felt like I was back in Colombia. I felt like I was back in Manizales or Armenia or one of the coffee region cities because it's like a smaller city. So the population is quite small. The vibes are very similar. The colorful buildings and also taste in interior design is very similar to how it is in Colombia. So even though the people all look very different, felt very familiar for some reason. Something I did notice though, is that here compared to Krakow, buildings here are a lot less well-maintained compared to the ones in Poland. It's very interesting seeing the difference between some of the more modern buildings with very clean interior design. Everything looks really nice and new from the outside versus the normal buildings here in the city center, which are pretty old and run down and feel like they haven't been maintained in years. Something else that I noticed as well is that there's a small difference in fashion between Ukrainian people and Polish people. I feel like Ukrainian people are a little more experimental with their fashion. You'll see a lot more bright colors. You see the tan pico everywhere. So many girls are rocking that. But it does seem like the girls here care a little bit more about fashion than Polish girls. Also the men as well. There are like the typical Eastern European look or fit that you'll see but I think a lot of men here also care about their appearance. It's a really beautiful day here in Lviv. I think we came at the right time. The weather is fantastic. If you're just walking around, you would not think that this country is in war right now. And I think it's because like Western Ukraine versus Eastern Ukraine are very, very different from what I hear. I think going to Kyiv is gonna be a much different experience. I swear on this side, it feels like life is just going on as normal and the vibes are super, super chill. I don't know, it kind of feels like a typical European city. Here, the air is really, really nice and I think that that has an effect on my energy. Something that has been affecting me for the last few months in Krakow is that I feel like I'm tired and exhausted all the time. I'm not entirely sure why, but I think it's because of the pollution in the air. Pollution in Krakow is not like pollution in Southeast Asia. In Southeast Asia, the air quality is really bad and makes me want to cough all the time and I feel heavy. But in Krakow, I'm not coughing all the time, but I think it's having a toll on my energy. Something I want to point out is that the architecture in the city is absolutely beautiful. It's a shame that all of the buildings are old and they're not super well maintained, but you can tell that like maybe 50, 60 years ago, these buildings would have been super, super beautiful. It feels like Europe, but with like a twist because a lot of European buildings don't use the same like round roofs in their architecture the same way as a place like maybe Turkey or some of the more uh, Asian places. And I guess that's where the Russian influence is. It makes sense from a city standpoint, right? They're in the middle of a war. So it's best to make sure that the war is over before like doing any maintenance to the buildings just in case any of them go down. I really love Lviv though. I, I really like the vibe of the city. There's something about the city that feels like it's full of culture and life. And despite of everything that's going on right now, I feel like the city is very, very light. Lively. There's a lot of people out walking around because the weather is so good. The people seem quite friendly. Actually, I wouldn't even argue that they're friendlier than Polish people. And the people walk around with like a different swagger and energy than Polish people do. I also want to say that the girls here remind me of the women from Vietnam, the way that they carry themselves and the elegance that they walk around with. There's a big difference between Ukrainian and Polish girls because Ukrainian girls have this form of like swagger 
when they walk, it's like, I'm beautiful and I know it. Whereas Polish girls are a little more modest. I haven't seen a lot of both countries, but I think Lviv and Krakow are similar in population. So these are just observations I made about the two cities. When talking about women, very similar to Colombia, I find that the ones that are like supermodels or celebrities or influencers are not the most attractive girls. The most attractive girls you'll find working at a market on the street, those kind of girls. You walk around the whole entire city and you'll just fall in love in random places like at a supermarket, just like Colombia. In here, right behind me, the air siren is going off in the city. I just arrived to the shopping center and I wanted to walk around, but everybody has to be evacuated. Everybody's coming out, but it feels like the people are like super chill. All the shops are closed and people are all exiting the mall. But look, there's a bunch of people just like hanging around the entrance of the mall. So I imagine that uh, once the sirens go off, they're just going to go back inside. It's interesting. I would thought it would be a lot scarier, but I think because we're on the west part of Ukraine, it's not as intense. I imagine if we were in Kiev or like towards the east part of Ukraine, I think it would be a lot more intense. So even down to like the buses and the public transportation reminds me of the buses from Colombia. We don't really have buses like that in Krakow. They're more just regular trams or normal European transport. So it's really hard to explain why this feels a lot more like Colombia than it does to other cities in Europe. Something that I think is very similar between the two is the emphasis on the beauty culture. The women here take care of themselves and they really put a high importance in beauty and beauty products and stuff. It's kind of the same in some parts of Asia, for example, in Vietnam and Korea, it's the same thing in Colombia. Even though you could say that it's a quote unquote poorer country, it doesn't feel unsafe at all. I'm walking around with my camera. I don't feel like anybody's ever going to come up to me and rob me. And this is actually a really big major difference from this part of the world versus like Latin America. Because of the Soviet roots, and you can see this in a lot of like East Asian countries, specifically like China. I mean, Japan and Korea aren't, don't have communist roots, but a lot of these East Asian cultures and the Soviet cultures, high emphasis on the community and social order. That means that there's generally a much safer society when you walk around. And you definitely feel that. So if the war wasn't going on, it would be a really cool place to live because I think they are quite accepting of foreigners here, especially Asian people. I was walking around the mall earlier. I finally found my first Asian guy and a Ukrainian girl relationship. Also a very funny observation I've made. The tan or camel trench coat is extremely popular with Ukrainian girls. Everywhere you walk, you will find the girls with the same exact trench coat and you'll find groups of girls all wearing the same thing. I find it very, very funny. So my time in Lviv has been really, really nice. Surprisingly, if it weren't for the wartime, I could see myself spending maybe a couple weeks to a month here. I really like the vibes because it's a lot different than I expected. I thought it would be a lot closer to Krakow, but it's actually like completely different. There's a lot more history here. The people are a lot different as well. It reminds me somewhat of Colombia too, because it's also a coffee city, but much safer with a culture that's a lot more similar to my Chinese culture. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.